For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they tell you that this cable will, will fail when subjected to a tension of 2 kN. Find the largest load P, the frame will support and calculate the internal normal force, shear force and moment at a section passing through at point C for the loading. So basically they're telling you that this tension right here, T, will fail at 2 kN. So we're going to set it equal to 2 kN. So at 2 kN, we are going to find the value of P. So to do so, we're going to do the sum of the moments at A, assuming clockwise is positive. So sum of the moments at A is equal to 0. So you know that the moment being created by this tension is equal to this distance from B to A times the tension. So T and the distance from B to A, which is 0.6 meters. Why is it 0.6? Because this height is 0.5 and this width has a radius of 0.1. When you add them together, you get 0.6. Minus P times the distance from P to A, which is 0.75 times 3, which is 2.25. And it is equal to zero. So T we have at two kilonewtons, we plug it in and we solve for P, and we get that P is equal to 0.533 kilonewtons. So now that we have the value of P, we can find the reactions at A, AX and AY. So sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero so you know that t minus ax is equal to zero which means that ax comes out to be 2k sum of the forces on the y is also equal to zero so you know that minus p plus ay is equal to zero so that means that ay is equal to 0.533 kilonewtons So now we're going to use the method of sections. The method of sections to solve for the internal forces at C. So the section inside the dotted line I just drew. This is C. This is the normal at C. This is the share at C and this is the moment at C. This is a Y and this is a X. So sum of the forces on the X is equal to zero. So you know that the normal minus a X is equal to zero, which means that the normal is equal to a X at two K. Sum of the forces on the Y is equal to zero. The share coming down, a Y coming up is equal to zero. So the share is equal to AY at 0 0.533 kilonewtons. This is newtons, in case you are wondering. And assuming clockwise is positive, the sum of the moments at C is equal to zero. So the moment C minus AY times the distance, which is 0 0.75, the distance from C to A is 0 0.75. AY is the only force creating a moment because AX points directly to C, so it doesn't create a moment, and all of this is equal to zero. So when you solve for MC and you plug in AY here, which we found over here before, you get that the moment is equal to 0.4 kilonewton meters. Going clockwise, of course. So final answer for the moment at C, final answer for the share, and final answer for the normal force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.